Good evening. There's been a heroic fight to save lives and homes from bushfires in our south, sparked by controlled burns. One man rescued his neighbours as flames reached their doorstep. Michael Stamp is in Albany tonight. Michael, crews are assessing the damage. Alice, firefighters managed to gain the upper hand after the bushfires destroyed two buildings and forced evacuations. There are now calls for a review of controlled burns after the fires broke free so quickly. As flames closed in on Rob Sutton's home, the 62-year-old bravely put his life on the line, leaving his Napier property to alert his neighbours 500 metres away. I went across, jumped on the quad, went across the paddock, ran up and, and woke him up, fortunately. His neighbours unaware of the danger. Because I banged and yelled, banged on a f probably three or four windows, and then I had the thought that perhaps they're not, they've gone already. Rob Sutton's home is still standing, but his neighbours weren't so lucky. One of two properties destroyed in the bushfires near Albany. It's um, yeah, devastating, really, but I feel really sorry for these people because they've only been there for living in the house for probably six months and basically walked out with what, they, what they're wearing with a few little bits and pieces. The homeowner has told Nine News he'd like to thank Rob Sutton for saving his family and another neighbour for also helping. Overnight, firefighters managed to gain the upper hand. Unfortunately, last night we finally saw it coming around to west, west, south, west, uh, followed by some rain. So it's given us the opportunity uh, with some of those fires being extinguished by the rain or suppressed and allowed us to get on top of the uh, fires. Today, the Premier toured the fire zone, seeing the damage firsthand. Nearly 50 blazes across the Great Southern this week were started by controlled burns carried out by local residents. They're being blamed for the fires in Napier and Redmond, fanned by strong winds. The Department of Parks and Wildlife carried out two prescribed burns, which took off in the Stirling Ranges. There are now calls for an overhaul of the state's prescribed burn system. I think it approaches almost a criminal neglect because the consequences of what's happening and the impacts on communities and, and our biodiversity um, sh uh, are actually almost criminal acts. The group of WA University professors claims industrial scale burning costs $50 million a year. An investigation will be launched into what went wrong, but the Premier is standing by the program. Prescribed burning is one of the things that prevents catastrophic bushfires and we've got to make sure we prevent those catastrophic bushfires that kill many people. Rob Sutton says prescribed burns are necessary but hopes authorities can learn from this. There's someone's looking after us. I've, I don't normally go to church but perhaps I should consider my options. Now with the worst of the bushfires now past, firefighters will continue to mop up and assess the damage these bushfires have caused over the next few days. But given the strong winds have slowed down and rain is steadily falling here in Albany, some volunteer firefighters will be sent home. The overwhelming feeling among authorities and local residents here in Albany is that this could have been much worse. Alice? All right, thank you, Michael.